Okay, we're going to configure a transactional replication from our SQL A server. So we expand our nodes and we go to replication and we're going to say new publication. Click next and we're going to use our transactional replication database that we created. Transactional publication. Click next. And I'm just going to do the top two tables again, so it's quicker. Click next. I'm not going to filter on anything. And I'm going to create a snapshot immediately. Go back. Yeah, but I did choose transactional, that's fine. Okay, and we're going to use Contoso Kim Acres. Type in the password, so that's going to be the account that we'll be using. Click Next, create the publication. Um, the publication name is going to be Ed VentureWorks Trans Pub. Finish. Wait for that to start. Watching the two articles, which are the tables being added. Close that, and just like I did before, I'm going to make sure that they go to a file share. Where's that? Do I need that on this one? Yeah, put them in that folder, my file share that I've set up, so both servers can see it. And then I go to SQL B, and go to replication, do a new local subscription. Click next. Publisher is SQL A. Connect. And we're going to be using the transactional one. Click next. Run all agents at distributor. Click next. Subscription database is going to be oh, a new database. I'm going to call it ADV works uh, trans replication click ok click next again use the classic Kim Akers account that we've got everywhere click next we'll have it run continuously click next Initialize immediately, create the subscription, click next, and finish. Okay, I'll close that. And we go to job activity on the distributor, which is SQL A. And we can see that the transactional replication one is executing. So we've got two there running the agents. It'll look like they're running, so that's good. So hopefully if I go to databases on SQL B and refresh and look at the transactional replication one. Gulp. Yep, there we go. Address type. Where's that got a six rows? Isn't that weird? Okay, they're all there. So if I go to address type and edit top 200 rows. Do 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 do. I'm just going to delete a row, see if it picks it up. Mm. I bet I did it from the wrong. Oh, yeah, of course. So I delete that. Click yes, 
close. So let's see how quickly the one on SQL B will pick that up. Ah, straight away. The transactional replication really does keep things in sync. Um, so if I right click and go to where is it? Launch replication monitor. If I can see that's running. The publications are all okay. Oh, I've got a warning somewhere though. It says it's all good. So what's it telling me? Status performance critical. The latency is a bit long. Well, it seemed to work pretty quick to me. But anyway, that's how I'd go to launch replication monitor. Look at my publication, right click. SQL A. Yeah, you just got a latency on there. Performance critical. Oh, there's warnings there. One if subscription will expire, one if latency exceeds threshold. So the threshold 30 seconds, I guess that's why it's telling me. Oh, there we go, latency is good now. We're all happy. Close. So there's replication monitor as well. Sorted.